Okay, I'm going to do eye irrigation. Um, the materials that you're going to need for eye irrigation are an irrigating solution, usually normal saline. Okay, and this happens to be a used bottle, so I want to make sure whoever opened it date, dated, timed, and initialed it. And it's only good for 24 hours when you open solutions and leave them in the patient's room. So you always want to make sure you check the date. You're going to need a kidney basin to catch the irrigating solution. You're going to need some kind of drape for protection of the patients. Um, you should always consider bringing in some sterile gauze pads or some cotton balls of some type because sometimes there's drainage on eyes and you might have to clean it before you irrigate it. And you're also going to need an irrigation tray set. I've done my DeWipes, check my doctor's order, check my patient's allergies, explain the procedure. I'm going to go into the room and make two forms of identification always. I'm going to explain to the patient that I'm going to be irrigating his right eye today. It's been, he was hospitalized after some kind of um, trauma and they thought he had something in his eye and I'm doctor wants it irrigated, so I'm just going to irrigate. Um, so I've explained the procedure. I'm going to provide safety, and I'm going to make sure that I provide privacy. I am going to raise the, the bed. Um, let's see. So I don't kill my back. Side row now. Bring my supplies over. I'm going to go ahead and open my irrigation set. Now, though this isn't a sterile procedure, we want to we do want to keep it as clean as possible. I have washed my hands, taken my irrigation set out. Okay. There is also a drape in your irrigation set kit, which you can also use in case you needed to. Put my gloves on. I'm going to double check and make sure I have the correct solution. Open up my bottle. Because it is open, I'm going to lip it first before I actually pour some in my container. Take the tip off my cold syringe. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and Put a drape over my patient. Patient's kind of in a has a head of the bed up about 20 degrees, which was which would be suffice. Because I'm irrigating the right eye, I'm going to have the patient turn their head to their right. So the irrigating solution will flow downward. Okay. And if the patient can, they can go ahead and hold this also themselves. Um, at this point, I'm going to do a, a small assessment of the eye, just making sure, you know, I'm looking at it before I'm irrigating it. As I said, if there is drainage of some type, I can take a sterile gauze or a cotton ball and I can put a little saline on it to moisten it, and I can clean it using um, in the outward stroke from inner canthus to outer canthus and then throw this away, okay? Um, so you've done your eye assessment. You've cleaned it, you make sure that you're not going to um, put in de debris that might be on the outside of it, back in it by when you irrigate it. I'm gonna fill my, my bulb syringe. I'm gonna gently take my fingers and hold the upper lid and the lower lid apart, okay? I'm going to take my syringe and I'm going to hold it, you know, um, half an inch above what we call the lower conjunctival sac as we pull this lower lid down and aim it down in that lower conjunctival sac. I'm not going to aim it directly on the um, anterior portion of the eyeball, but down into that lower conjunctival sac. 
And I, as you see, I've got the tip of my syringe aimed from inner to outer. So I'm gonna go ahead, instill my solution, aiming it at the lower conjunctible sac, inner to outer canthus. At the same time, it can be draining down into my basin. And I'm gonna irrigate it as doctor ordered. And when I get all done, I can take another sterile cotton ball or gauze pad. I can pat it dry, wipe it again from inner to outer. Take my basin. Let's look and see what kind of um, return I got, What if there was anything in it. If I noticed anything, it would have to be documented. Clean up the patient, put them in a comfortable position, put the side rail up. At this point, you want to think about, okay, documenting um, assessment of the eye before I irrigated, how much irrigation I used and with what, how the patient tolerated it, what was my return and what did that look like, and assessment again after I was all done of the eye, how that looked like. Is it red? Is it any less irritated? Um, and I think that's it.